Welcome back to another episode of Tony Wolf Remembers Tri-State Wrestling. I am your host, Tony Wolf, and I hope you've been enjoying the previous episodes. In this episode, we have another throwback match back to 1999 from the Marietta Fairgrounds. It's Greg the Hammer Valentine taking on the world's greatest intercontinental champion ever, the Honky Tonk Man. Enjoy the show. Former WWF star and uh, intercontinental champion, the Honky Tonk Man.
How about you, honey? You want to hear it again, don't you? Huh? No, I'm not Elvis Presley. His brother? His brother's dead too. Where you been the last 50 years? You must be from West Virginia. You know what they do over there in West Virginia, don't you? You from West Virginia, son?
Now, that was how someone entertains in the pro wrestling business. In this next match, we're going to have a show from Glenville, West Virginia at Glenville State College. It's Luscious Rocky Reynolds taking on Double J, Jeff Jarrett, for the NWA TNA World Heavyweight Championship. This was probably one of the biggest crowds at that point that we had seen in Tri-State in a long time. So enjoy the match. Okay, fans, here we go. The third and final and most important main event of the night for the most prestigious wrestling title in history. Not just today or yesterday, in history. The NWA World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. As the champion, Jeff Jarrett, taking an early advantage there on his challenger, NWA Tri-State's own luscious Rocky Reynolds. Jarrett doing the strut, like I said, the most prestigious belt in the world is on the line as luscious Rocky Reynolds gets a chance to fulfill his dream. It's every wrestler's dream. When you start to wrestle, when you start to compete, when you start to train, you have one goal in mind, and it's to win the most prestigious belt there is. And so very, very few make it. But tonight, Rocky Reynolds has his shot glory at the history books. Jeff Jarrett floats over there into a side headlock as the champ takes control. Hip toss by Jarrett. Rocky backs into corner. I feel another strut coming. There it is, Jeff. Jarrett, he is cocky, but he is good. He is the world champion for a reason. This man, Jeff Jarrett, has held belts in every promotion he has ever competed in. Now he reigns over the National Wrestling Alliance. But that being said, and as good as Jeff Jarrett is, he cannot overlook the luscious one, Rocky Reynolds. Rocky Reynolds, just under five years in this sport, he is already a four-time NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion. Four times he has held that belt. And he has competed for every major NWA title. He has wrestled AJ Styles for the X Division Championship. He has teamed up and tried to win the Tag Team Championship for America's Most Wanted. And he actually has already had one shot at the NWA World title when he battled former champ Steve Carino. Now Reynolds was unsuccessful in that match. But tonight, I talked to him earlier in the back. He is confident. He feels he has Jarrett's number as Jarrett comes into his hometown, so to speak. And by his hometown, Reynolds actually from Pennsylvania, but NWA Tri-State. Luscious Rocky Reynolds territory. Jarrett with a side headlock. Shut off the ropes, big shoulder tackle. Reynolds goes down, Jarrett up over. Now a big hip toss by Reynolds. And a drop kick. Big clothesline, it was a glancing blow, but enough to make Jarrett want to roll out, regroup, regain his thoughts, and take the match maybe back to his pace. That's a very vector move by the champ. Getting out there, breaking that momentum that Reynolds had in those two or three moves he put together. Dizzy the champ, plus it puts everything back in control of the champion. Jarrett counting along, he knows he's got 10. There you see, rolls in just quick enough to break referee Tony Wolf's count. He says he's got 10. And even if he decides to stay out there for the full 10, he may lose the match. But he won't lose that belt. Because the only way that belt... Is I, I, I sorry as the champ had something to say there. And I over and I say the only way that belt can change hands 
is by pinfall or submission. And Jarrett knows he's taking his time, slowing this match down to his pace, letting Rocky know who's in charge of this match, and it is the world champ. take this opportunity to remind everyone to check out all the greatest, all the latest happenings in NWA Tri-State. Visit their website. Uh-oh, as, as Jarrett pulls out, Rocky Reynolds out to the floor and takes him to that post. Referee Tony Wolf's telling both men to get back in the ring, but the champ now in control. Taking Reynolds to that table at ringside. Reynolds looks dazed and confused here as the champ. Jeff Jarrett in control. Into the ring post hard again. Once again, bouncing rock the forehead of Rocky Reynolds off those solid still ring posts. Reynolds could, if Jarrett keeps this up, Reynolds may not be able to continue. This may be over right now. Rocky may not be able to get back in that ring. His hopes and dreams of winning the world title could be over. No, Reynolds up to his knees. Referee Tony Wolf continuing his count. There you see Rocky definitely days as Jarrett cuts him off coming in with those boots to the shoulder and the back of the neck. Takes Rocky over, choking him on the ropes. Referee Tony Wolf administering Jeff. Jeff's got a five count to break. Jeff reminding the ref he broke before five. Jarrett off the other ropes. Down hard, right against the neck of Rocky Reynolds. The champ definitely in control so far this match. Whips Rocky Reynolds off. Rocky catches him. Big DDT. Big DDT by Luscious Rocky Reynolds. Referee Tony Wolf administering his count to both men down. That DDT took a lot out of Jeff Jarrett, but Rocky two days to take advantage of it. Rocky cutting him off right after right. Whoops, Jarrett off the ropes. Reversal. Big boot. Another one. Swinging neck breaker. Big clothesline by Rocky Reynolds. Rocky building some momentum here on the champ. The champ could be in trouble. And Rocky, he's going up, but now his finisher's a swanton, but Jeff Jarrett in no position for that. Oh! Jarrett pushes referee Tony Wolf into the ropes, and Rocky falls unceremoniously on that top rope. Now Jarrett's got the NWA world title belt. What's Jarrett playing? He misses. Big kick by Rocky. Now Rocky's got the belt. He catches Jarrett. He called Jarrett with the belt, and the referee didn't see any of it. We could have a new world champ here tonight. Rocky Reynolds' dream could be coming true. Only a two count as Jarrett getting his foot on the ropes. Oh, we were so close to a new world champion right there. Jarrett reverses Rocky in the corner. Rocky still cuts him off. Jarrett's still a little woozy probably from that belt shot. Here comes the swanton. Rocky looking to hit his finisher. And Jarrett moved. Jarrett moved. Jarrett, big knee to the gut. Jarrett saying that's it. This could be the stroke. There it is, Jarrett nails the stroke. This could be it. And that's it. Jeff Jarrett retains the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. And what a great match. But Rocky Reynolds comes up just a little bit short. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us here tonight for NWA Tri-State. I'm Michael Love. As you can see, that was a barn burner. That was what Jim Ross would call a good old-fashioned slobber knocker. No, that wasn't gimmick infringement. But in the main event of this episode, and as you can see, all of these matches 
on this episode are main event style matches. But in the main event, from Fairmont, West Virginia, at a uh, sports bar show that we did, it's America's Most Wanted AMW from MW from NWA TNA taking on the Naturals, Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas. This tag match was one for the record books. Hope you all enjoy.
that was another great match. It, like I said, I'm trying to do these as a one-man show, so you will notice the shirt doesn't change, the background doesn't change, the shadows don't change. It's because I'm filming all these at one shot. But the more people that subscribe, the more people that are watching, the more time I can put into these shows. And I can tell you right now, here in the near future, we will be going north to Titusville, Pennsylvania for a fair amount of insanity brought to you by Madmar Entertainment, which was a fair show that we were at several times that I recorded. And I hope you enjoy those matches coming up because you never know who's going to show up. But this is the end of another great show of Tony Wolf Remembers. Please remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, hit subscribe. It's around here somewhere. And please leave a comment in the box below. And in the next batch of filming, I'll try to get to your questions if you have any. So, do you remember a fair amount of insanity from Titusville, Pennsylvania? Well, keep your eyes open because you never know. There may be some matches coming from one of those shows. Enjoy.